how do you develop an above average income? And the answer is, become an above average person. Develop an above average handshake. Some people want to be successful, they don't even work on their handshake. As easy as that would be to start on. They let it slide, they don't understand. Develop an above average smile. Develop an above average excitement. Develop an above average interest in other people. Develop an above average intensity to win. Probably one of the most frustrating experiences in life is looking for an above average job with above average pay without becoming an above average person. Learn to work harder on yourself than you do on, on your, your job. job. What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, let me get my round of applause on for myself, please. Yeah. Hey, we are back for another one. It's Monday morning, and you know what I'm about to say. I'm about to say I'm excited because every single time I tell y'all that we come in Monday morning, I am excited because I made it back, baby. We here again, and you know what? This time, it's a little bit different because we did a Wednesday show for those who know now, Monday morning is also Monday morning on Wednesdays as well. So we doing two times a week. I talked about that last show about doubling up, you know, uh, going a little bit harder than you was before. So we're not going to talk about that today. Today, we're going to talk about how proud of ourselves that we are because I realized something, man. I realized that for a lot of people, the things that takes them away from their greatness. Hear what I'm saying? Hear me out now. You ugh, pay attention. What takes people away from their greatness most of the time is lacking confidence in themselves. That's where people, that's how people greatness is taken away from. They take it away from themselves because of the lack of confidence in whatever area they're in. And I said, it, I talked about this last show about being ready to go to the next level and realizing that there's going to be a new challenge at the next level. But if you are confident enough, if you are confident enough, you will meet that next level. Like, you know what? It's time to it's time to get it. It's time to go to the next level. I'm ready for the next challenges. Come on now. And you know how you can do that? Be proud of yourself for what you've already done. I had a huge issue with this for some point and or for some reason. And I'm gonna tell you why. It's because it's been it's been embedded in me to practice humility, to make sure I'm humble. Be humble. And that's one category. But there's also a time to be confident and proud of yourself. It's time to toot your own horn is what I'm saying. Think about what you've already accomplished. Think about what you've already done. How have you already separated yourself from the masses? And actually give yourself a damn pat on the back because that confidence in yourself is going is what you're going to need to, to achieve the next level anyways. So toot your own horn today. So you know what, man? I have done this. I have been putting in mad work. I've been doing this for some years. Man, look at what I created. Look how people like it. There's this thing called love languages. We were talking about this this morning on the Giants Den. We were talking about love languages and how there's five. And one of them is words of affirmation. And we were talking about that words of affirmation because we expect them to come from outside sources. We expect other people to give us those words of affirmation. But the truth is we can actually fill ourselves up. We can fill ourselves up with that same type of feeling by giving ourselves that affirmation. Brag a little bit about yourself. See how that feels? Because oftentimes, and I'm guilty of it, oftentimes we don't want to brag on what we've done, on what we've achieved, because we don't want to seem like we big-headed or whatever. We want to make sure that we're, 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 we're showing humility. But a lot of times we, when we focus so much on showing humility, we actually dim our own light. We actually dim our own light just because we want other people to make, we want other people to feel a certain kind of way. Hear what I'm saying because y'all know I'm telling the truth. We dim our own light. Like I've even said on the interview before, I said, man, I said, somebody asked me to share my story. I said, honestly, I probably need somebody else to tell it because they can tell it better than I can because the truth is I'm going to dim my own light. Naturally, we do that to show humility. But I, I challenge you, and you know I'm a big on challenges. I challenge you to not dim your own light. I challenge you to brag on yourself. I challenge you to actually believe in yourself like you want other people to believe in you. See, it's something about people that are great. It's something about the 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 great Nipsey Hussle, which at a certain point in his life, he realized that I am great. 
Kobe Bryant at some point point realized that I am great. And when you start, when you realize that I am great, when you start getting, when you start tooting your own horn, I'm gonna tell you right now, when you start tooting your own horn, other people will start tooting it as well. Because it's something about you attacking your personal greatness and you feeling like I'm great. Can't nobody touch me. It's something about having that air of confidence that people trust and believe in. I'm telling you because if you also develop that trust and believe in yourself, it I, I, I mean, I can't. How can I explain this to y'all? Because I understand where we are. And sometimes we may not think that we are as far as we think we are. A great friend told me a long time ago, as I was walking out of a room, hear what I'm saying? I was walking out of a room and he told me, he said, hey, he stopped me. He said, hey, man, he said, you keep good news. You a giant. And I'm going to tell you what that did for me. It made me sit back and recognize and I had to do one of two things at that moment. I had to say. Nah, I'm not a giant. I, I could have played it down, right? Nah, I'm just, man, I'm just a regular guy. I'm just, I'm, I'm just a regular guy. Or I could have stepped in, or I step into that and be like, you know what? You damn right I am. So I challenge everybody out here to take that type of approach. I'm telling you right now, you're great. I'm telling you right now, you a guy. You First of all, you listen to Monday morning. You already a different type of person. I'm going to tell you right now, just for listening to this show, you are a different type of person. The fact of the matter is, what I'm telling you right now is not something that you don't already know. And this is the truth. You already know what you're great at. We dim our own light. Um, I don't, I don't, I do know why, but. This is what I'm trying to ex- express. I'm, I'm trying to find the right word so it don't get too detailed and too deep. But I'm looking in the um, in the chat right now, and shout, I want to get some shout outs real quick. Shout out to Brunch with Bessie Day out there. Happy Monday. Kirsten is out there. What's up? What's up? Tamar said good morning and meet Hang Low with the. <laughs> that is a funny screen name. Uh, but yes, for those who don't have the. Uh, listen on Facebook Live. Appreciate y'all. Instagram. Download the app. Listen to the app. You can hear the whole production of this. It ain't just me talking. I got, I got perfect music. By the way, I picked this music myself. You know what I'm saying? This is design music. This is all purpose. You know, this is, a, this is something that I come with and with strategy. So tune in. Download the app if you don't have it. Um, and listen to the show on there. So uh, I want to say shout out to everybody out there. But yes, they say I never give myself credit. I want you to ask yourself this. Just, 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 just answer this in one yes or no answer. Don't think too deep. I don't want you to sit there and I don't want you to ponder on this because you already know the answer. So don't think about it. Just answer right away. Do you give yourself enough credit? Yes or no? Don't think about it. Answer now to yourself. Do you give yourself enough credit? Do you? And I'm going to tell you right now. If it's somebody like me, you know the answer is no. So I challenge you to start giving yourself that credit because ain't nobody else going to give it to you. Until you give it to yourself. I'm going to tell you right now, what if Jesus was walking around like, man, I, I ain't really, I don't really know if I'm, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm kind of Jesus. I ain't like Jesus, Jesus. Get it, man, come on now. What if any of the greats walking around like, I ain't really great. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of, come on. I challenge you to give yourself the credit you deserve. I challenge you to toot your own horn today. Look what I've done. Look what I've amassed. This is why I, I am where I'm, at, where I'm at right now. Look at the challenges I face. Look at the connections that I made. Look at the work that I put in. Look at the late nights that I stayed up. Look at all the stuff I did not post. All the bathrooms that I cleaned. All the floors that I scrubbed. I mean, give yourself the credit. I challenge you to give yourself some credit today. 
Today, this Monday, all we doing is bragging on ourselves. It ain't about to nobody. I'm just bragging. If you catch a, if you catch a whiff, great. I hope you agree. And you know what? Honestly, a good times out of ten, a good times out of ten, a person gonna give you that credit. And say, man, you know what? You do deserve it. Because I'm telling you right now, the, the the type of people that we are, we have so much humility. We afraid to show the results because of what people might think. Hear what I'm saying? We afraid to show our greatness because of what people might think. The only way to break free, the only way to break free of that is to start giving yourself the credit. Because it doesn't matter if anybody does or does not give it to you. See, what you also don't want to get caught up in is being empowered too much by credit received outside. Let me tell you why. Because that means that you are not in control of your if your uh if your if your emotions. Hear what I'm saying. Whether the feedback is good or bad, you should feel the same about your work. Good or bad, you should feel the same about it. You should feel the same about it. Good or bad. So that way you don't change. You don't waver. It doesn't matter. You're unaffected. You got to be unaffected. Because I'm going to tell you right now. Sometimes those compliments can stop you from moving forward. Sometimes you're like, man, I guess I'm doing good. But you know, deep down inside, you can do better. But the compliments is keeping you right there. That's why you got to be unaffected by the good comments and the negative comments yin and yang shout out to Derek Ward in a Facebook live he said you just gained a follower this is the type of energy I'm on my answer was no I dim my light all the time my brother hey you know what and we all do it we all do it we all we all are guilty but today Look, if you do it tomorrow, that's one thing. But not, we're not doing it today. Today, we are shining the light as bright as possible. Because if you don't do it today, then when are you? When the last time you did it? You tell me that. You dim your light every day. When's the last time you shine the brightest you can? On yourself. When the last time you put the spotlight on you? You know, Snoop Dogg came up and said something. He said, oh, he had a whole album, I think it was called. He said, I want to thank me. I'm thanking me today. It's a me day. Ain't nothing wrong with a me day. Because chances are, it's always always us or we. Today is going to be me. Look at what I did. Look at who I am. Look at what I've become. Look at what I've become. Listen, everybody start off as a little cub. But then you become, you become a lion. You become a lioness. If it's your first time listening to Monday Morning, I want to thank you for tuning in. I see my pops out there in Facebook Live. What's up, Dad? If it's your first time tuning in, thank you. I would encourage you to download the app and go listen from the app so you can hear my whole production. My music is fly. Okay? It's a whole vibe. You can't... Listen, you're not getting the experience if you're not getting the whole vibe. I need you to get the experience, not just these words. These words are only one part of what I'm doing. I'm trying to captivate your body as well. I need you on this vibe. To get this experience. This is an experience. This is a keep good news experience. Shout out to the chat brunch with Bessie out there. She said, Jesus is like, I am the truth and the light. We need to be bold and say the same thing. Absolutely. Do you believe that? Do you believe that you are? Listen, listen. (laughs) I remember when Lil Wayne came out and said he was the best rapper alive. Every Listen, hear what I'm saying. Nobody, 
Lil Wayne is now on like a, the GOAT status, right? People talk about him and they put him in a GOAT status. I'm going to tell you why. I'm going to tell you how he achieved GOAT status. Because of, he came out and started saying, I'm the best rapper alive at the time when everybody was giving to Jay-Z, right? It was like unanimous Jay-Z. Lil Wayne said, I'm the best rapper alive. He said it so much that people had to pay attention. He was believing it. He believes it. And people was like, he's crazy. What is he talking about? Nobody's saying Lil Wayne is the best rapper alive. How can he just say that amongst him, about himself? You know, I saw an interview. He said... He said, if you don't feel like you were the best, regardless of what anybody else thinks. Man, listen, I got to Listen, listen. Regardless of what anybody else thinks, do you think you're the best? Hear what I'm saying? I have to change my language. I think I got the best show going on Monday morning. I'm telling you, nobody compares. Nobody comes close to what's happening here on Monday morning. Nobody's even scratching the surface. You're not in my league. Don't do it. Don't have a show Monday morning because I'm going to kill it. Don't you do it. You show up here Monday and Wednesday, I'm going to kill it because I'm the best thing on the air. I got the best show going. Ain't nothing better than this. Nobody messing with me. I am the greatest. Little Wayne said, if you don't feel like you're the greatest at what you're doing, why are you even doing it? Regardless of what anybody thinks. And you know what? Let me give another shout out to uh, D'Angelo Russell. If y'all follow NBA at all, D'Angelo Russell said something a long time ago. They asked him, who would he put in his like all-time top five or whatever the case may be. And, of course, he had like Shaq. I think he had, like, you know, magic or something. And he put himself in there. He was like, I'm going to put myself in there. I don't, regardless of what y'all think, he's like, I think I'm the, top, I'm the top five. And I just felt that. I was like, man, and, you know, he's been playing better every time. I'm like, man, he has a different air of confidence. He, he truly believes he's the best. Regardless of what y'all think, I believe I'm the best. So that's why I'm getting, that's why I've been getting better. That's why I'm getting closer to being the best because I believe it first. See, even in a secret, even in the law of attraction, they say you have to believe it first. They say believe it, then achieve it. Hear what I'm saying? They don't say achieve it, then believe it. You don't achieve being the greatest, and then you believe you're the greatest. It does not happen that way. So that's why I challenge you today to toot your own horn, to start already acting as if you're the greatest. Michael Jordan is one of the best examples in the world. He believed he was the greatest. He didn't, first time he stepped on the court. Ain't nobody better than me. I can get dunked on. I can miss a thousand shots. I'm still the best. Because the results don't determine how I feel about me. Results don't determine nothing. I truly believe I'm the greatest. Toot your own horn. What have you already done? What have you already done that you haven't given yourself credit for? What are some things that you've already pulled off that you couldn't believe you pulled off? I'm going to tell you right now. I'll be telling myself, Keith, you should give yourself more credit for your educational success. Keith, give yourself more. You have a master's degree. You had a master's degree at 26 years old. That's not common, son. That's not regular. Keith, you overcame stuttering. You overcame stuttering. As a lifelong issue. And now you have the best radio show on Monday and Wednesday. You got to be kidding me. What have you done to give yourself credit? Or what do you not give yourself enough credit for? Toot your horn. Loud. Toot it. You know who I am? See, but the thing about it is you got to truly believe that about yourself. You have to truly believe that. And it's a, it's a process to get into that belief level. Hear what I'm saying? There's a process to get into a certain belief level. You don't just start there. You don't just say tomorrow I'm just going to believe in myself. No. You have to work on 
believing in yourself. But once you get to the level of belief, a full belief, and you know what? If you don't, if you don't like the word belief, I got a better word from you. Faith. Faith. Full faith. Full faith in yourself. Do you have full faith? No, you don't. Do you believe in yourself that much to consider yourself a great? See, listen. Nipsey Hussle said, you can walk on water if you don't look down at your feet. How much faith do you have in you? And I'm telling you, once faith starts happening, once you rely on faith enough times, hear what I'm saying? Enough times. It starts becoming a constant. You know what a constant is? And I'll use another Nipsey Hussle example. A constant is like the ground. You have faith that every step you take, the ground is going to be there, don't you? Hear what I'm saying? Every step you take, you have full, unwavering faith that the ground is going to be there on your next step. You don't have no doubt in your mind that the ground is not going to be there. Do you have that same type of faith in what it is you're doing? And if not, how do we get there? Well, it starts with truly believing in you. So hype yourself up. Be your hype man. Be your own hype man. I'm trying to tell you. I'm trying to tell you. Don't be afraid of that. You know, even in the entertainment world, they have this thing called, like, star quality or... uh, some type of thing like a sale. I can sell you. So pretty much long story short, what I'm trying to say is there are people who step into that light and they say, I'm going to own it. I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to be a superstar. I'm going to act like a superstar. And we don't judge them. Think about it. We don't judge your your, your favorite, you know, uh, Nicki Minaj or, you know, any of these uh, Beyonce superstar for one of these crazy costumes on stage, even though we know that's not what they would normally wear out like daily. But we see them on, you know, TV and all over the social media. They weren't like these far out things. And we don't judge them because we say that's what superstars do. But see, if you're a regular person walking around with that dress, they're going to be like, you're not a superstar. See, we so afraid of people pointing out the fact that we're not a superstar. We won't even we won't even step into what we're supposed to be wearing. Listen, there's an image of yourself in your mind for the future you. Think about this right now. I'm going deep, but I need y'all to go with me. You have an image of yourself in your future self already in your mind, right? Your successful self. What does your successful self look like? Can you can you make it out? Where are you living at? I don't want how much money you make. I don't want to hear I'm making a lot of money. How much is a lot? It's too ambiguous. We over that. We got to get specific. Now, think about where you were when you first started. Think about where you were when you first started. Before you had the network, maybe before you had the business, maybe before you had the idea. Before you had all the experiences. Think about where you were at. And think about where you are now. Are you proud of yourself? You gotta be. Because you made it. You made it. Here. You made it here. Congratulations. Welcome. You made it to the journey. You showed up for yourself. And all you can do. And celebrate yourself at this point. I'm going to jump to the chat real quick. Me, Hang Low, said, I started writing in a journal five things I accomplished that day just to prove to myself I can be proud of things that I've done. Brunch with Best says, amen. We have to celebrate our wins. Hear what I'm saying. Don't make... Listen. Don't dim your own light. That's, that's, that's really what I, what I want what, what I want to get to today. Don't dim your own light and celebrate. Not just not dim, but today is the day. Today is the day you should celebrate you. Go buy yourself something. Yes, I'm going off the norm here because today I want you to be proud of what you've done. Get yourself something you deserve. Splurge on you today. I challenge you to do that, to have that type of energy because you already accomplished so much 
that you have not given yourself credit for already have accomplished so many things that you refuse to put on the forefront and let people know about your greatness you are afraid to advertise yourself as a great person because you don't want to be wrong and the only way you can be wrong is if you do not believe it see the thing about life Think about status, the thing about ratings, all that is objective. It's people's opinion. When we go on Yelp, when we go to a restaurant, we count on people's opinion. We don't even count on our own. We only count on how we like the food, how we like the service. We count on other people's opinions. And if other people's opinions will have us not even go somewhere to eat. We care about other people's opinions so much. That we dim our own light in fear of people having an opinion about us. <laughs> Jump into the chat real quick. Tamar, she said, I've done a lot before 25 and I'm proud of my journey. Cheers to more life and experience for all of us. Tamar, I, I know you personally. And I'm going to tell you right now, you have done so much before the age of 25. Honest, more than I had have done by the time I was 25 and your experiences of like a 40 year old woman. So congratulations for having that knowledge at such a young age. And it's already, it's already put you in a life situation that is above the average person. So um, shout out to you and continue on that journey. And you know what? Be proud of yourself. Be proud of what you've done. And today is the day you celebrate. Or maybe, I don't know, it could be something small. Maybe you've been working out a whole lot. Maybe you've been on a diet, you've been doing well. Get you some ice cream. Yep, I'm, I'm, I'm going to be on the other side today. I'm going to be the person to, 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 uh, to uh, tell you to, to uh, splurge a little bit on yourself today. Go ahead and buy you an outfit, girl. You better go get you something nice. Stop playing. You better go do something for you. My brothers, you going to do something for yourself, too. I don't care what it is. Go buy yourself a pair of shoes. You know what's really good? Go buy yourself some new underwear. I'm going to tell you right now, to a man, you can say whatever you want. Ain't nothing like a new pack of drawers. Nothing like a new pack of drawers. Go Do whatever it is, man. You know? Do something for you. Not for nobody else. Do it for you. Shout out to my lady. She's in the chat. She said, y'all make the best, the best banana pudding, period, action neighbor. Yes. Yes. She does make the best banana pudding and i'm not saying that because that's my lady i'm saying it because i can be honest about it and uh you know just go read the reviews and y'all count on other people's opinions anyway go read the reviews go find out go ask your neighbor or you can just find out for yourself which i highly recommend so you know today is one of those different type of days and you know i'm so happy to be doing this on a monday and wednesday man i'm i, I mean it is really the energy I like to be in, and I tell y'all all the time, this is not just for radio. I actually am like this. I'm pretty damn intense uh, most of the time, even on myself. So uh, today's just one of those days that I felt like we deserve some credit, man. Like, we've been at this, you know? I was, you know, thinking somebody asked me yesterday, and I didn't, it didn't really dawn on me. They was like, man, how, how you been doing this for a while, right? And I was like, yeah, yeah, that was, 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 was like... 2015 he said 2015 and the way he responded i was like damn 2015 <laughs> you know we all had to repeat it back like whoa you know and i was like man and he said man I, you got to be proud of what you what you've done i said you know what man i'm damn proud of what i've done and you know what my response because i was so literally like I, I was see I was still having a sense of humility, but I was being honest and so I'm damn proud of what I've done, you know. Um, and then he was like, you know, his eyebrows raised. He was like, man, sh yeah, man, you absolutely should be, you know. So it's like I'm not taking credit for I, for what I don't deserve. You hear what I'm saying? And as Nipsey Hustle say, and I say this in a I'm referencing Nipsey today because you know I got so many life references from him, but he was like, I don't want a penny more than I'm old or a penny less. Hear what I'm saying? I don't want more credit than I deserve, but I also don't want less credit than I deserve. You see what I'm saying? I don't want, I'm not asking to give me more credit than I deserve. I'm asking for, to give me the credit that I do deserve and what I'm going to do to, to ensure that I get the credit I deserve, I'm going to start by giving it to myself first. 
to ensure that I get the credit that I deserve. I'm going to give it to me. Regardless of anybody else's opinion, I will give myself the credit I deserve. Because that is what fuels me. And if you think about it before social media, internet, I mean, you had to rely on your self-consciousness and your self-identity, what you think about self. Think about self as being nothing less than successful, nothing less than great. And I tell y'all, as we leave today, be proud of what you've done all ready those achievements see those achievements are still achievements sometimes they get old so we forget about them right we say well that was 10 years ago it doesn't matter you see because achieving that that i mean there's people who did not achieve that 10 years ago it doesn't matter your achievements still matter that's why people keep trophies so with that being said Shout out once again to my people in the chat. Tamar says she can go get her some ice cream. You go get you some ice cream, girl. Blame it on me. Blame it on Keep Good News. Blame it on Monday morning. Go get some ice cream. Shout out to Jazz. She said, you are a legend, sir. And you know what's crazy? I'm actually wearing Jazz's shirt right now. I'm a black history maker. Um, you know, you can probably see it. On, oh, she is, she just hopped in on IG. <laughs> hopped in on IG Live as I'm talking about it, which is crazy. So, yeah, I, I'm actually wearing the I am a new black history maker shirt today so uh you know shout out to her for coming through with the merch so until next time ladies and gentlemen i see y'all wednesday yeah you gotta wait till next monday no more wednesday come through let's be above average let's be great toot your own horn and i'm out yeah yeah yeah